Hey, what's up guys? Otto here with a quick guide on how to upload and run logs for World of Warcraft Classic. First thing you're going to want to do is go to warcraftlogs.com, uh, log in if you haven't, or uh, sign up, and you'll be brought to this screen. Uh, number one thing, up here at the top left corner, it says I'm on live. I don't want live. I want classic. Uh, it does make a difference. Um, from there, you're going to go over here to the top right, and you're going to click your picture, click join a guild, and then uh, you'll have a guild code given to you from uh, your guild leader or whoever's running the logs, and you can put that code in there and click join. After you've joined your guild, you can click the home button top left. Uh, it may or may not show up here. Um, probably won't until your guild leader promotes you so that you can actually be a part of the guild. That's to prevent just anyone from joining any guild. So um, that's there. You can click on that and view all the logs from it. And um, from there, I highly recommend everyone installs the client and uses the client to upload their logs because it makes things super easy. Um, so install the client and then um, before we open up that client, uh, I'm going to show you the most important part of the step and that's enabling advanced combat lag logging. Uh, hit your menu button, system, network, advanced combat logging. If this isn't checked, your logs are going to show up super buggy and they won't show all the things that uh, you need to see. Sometimes they won't show up at all. So make sure that's enabled. Hit apply. OK. After you've enabled advanced combat logging, open up your uh, launcher, your client, Warcraft logs. Um, up here at the top right, make sure that it's set to classic. It'll probably say live by default, but make sure it's on classic. It does make a difference. Um, and then log in. And uh, here what you can do, you can upload a log if you already have the log saved on your computer, which is it's just so much more complicated doing it that way. Uh, before you're going to start a raid, what I do, click live log, and then uh, you can choose your guild here. Uh, you can make it personal, you can make it um, guild logs. So I can upload my logs for my own personal use if I want, and uh, it won't be broadcast to the whole guild. So um, I'm going to click my guild. I'm in raid Y, so I'm going to click that. It's important just for if you have multiple raid teams for uh, splitting it up so it's easy to filter out. Um, public, private, unlisted. Um, report, let's say uh, raid Y, MC. And uh, you click go. And after that, go back to your World of Warcraft, and you got to type slash combat log and you're good to go you're good to go from there you can go back to uh, Warcraft logs here and view the report and it'll come up here there's obviously nothing here I see it says private up there for me it's got the date it's got everything we need um, and then when you're done for the raid uh, you type slash combat log again and combat logging disabled um, I've never turned it off before I always forget and it does fine it after you exit your game, it doesn't keep going. Uh, the only problem that you have if you don't turn it off is if you don't log out, it'll start logging your Skolomance run or whatever else you're going to do. So hope that helped, and uh, hope to see you in raid.